Well, the door. in the case of uh, 167 towards Sumner or I-5 heading toward Tacoma, lighter than usual. You're never more than 10 minutes away from Tacoma 1000 <coughs> traffic on the 4s. I'm Sarah Johnson. Thank you, Sarah. Traffic brought to you by KPS Health Plans, KPS Health Plans asks, What's most important to you, a comprehensive network of doctors or award-winning customer service? Who says you can't have both and more? Discover the KPS difference at kpshealthplans.com. Combo 1000 news time is 616. Lisa Brooks and Herb Weissbaum in for Eric. Herb is actually on Combo 4 News, so uh, he doesn't get to spend time with our guest. Oh, I just love it. That's the new single from his upcoming album, We Sing, We Dance, We Steal Things. Jason Mraz joins us right here in the studio, and he just wrapped up a private concert for our sister station, Star 101.5. And Jason, it's really wonderful to see you. What are you doing in Seattle? Uh, just that, just visiting folks, doing little private concerts, and talking about the new record we sing, we dance, we still things, which comes out May 20th. Love the name. Where did that come from? I actually got that from a visual humorist out of Scotland, a guy named David Shrigley. I was flipping through his work, and I found this little diagram titled just that, and it made me laugh. And I, I emailed him and uh, asked if I could use it, and then we got to talking, and he actually ended up doing all the artwork for the album as well. So uh, that'll be all featured in May. So tell us what else we can expect from the new album. The new album, well, I hate to use the phrase more of the same, but I I write in this very positive, uh, from this positive place where I like to write about relationships and family and and the environment and, uh, you know, I just try to make it very human, you know, and so I think this album hopefully is a little more human than the last couple of things I put out because I gave myself a good year off to tend my garden, to mulch, to just sort of, you know, set new values for myself and with that came these new songs that just sort of surprised me. It's kind of a new gospel in this album. Well that's interesting. Tell yeah. me a little bit more about that. Well, um, gosh, you know, when I when I got off the road I didn't know what I wanted to shop for at the grocery store because I was just eating backstage for years and years. So, you know, it just started with that. Go to the grocery store. Let's see what you want. And then it got into cooking for myself and I really got into that creative process of cooking and then uh, I live in San Diego, so surfing can be a major part of your life if you choose to let to let the sea take you, you know. And there's just something amazing in that. Um, and so all these all these different things just became very personal to me. And once I sat down to write music, the songs were just writing themselves, and were saying all these things that were reflective of all the um, I don't know all the things I wanted to hear, all the things I loved to hear. I love I love just hearing good news, or I love hearing how we can make a difference. You know, that's all I need is just someone say, oh, well, if you just, you know, if we all recycle or use less plastics, then it's better for our seas. And little tidbits like that just kind of keep me going. I'm like, oh, okay, that's how I can make a difference. Because I think it's so hard, especially in this growing, growing world, how can one person make a difference, you know? And so without being preachy, I wanted, I'm, I'm hoping that I made a record that helps people to understand how one person can make a difference. Well, your songs always have such a positive note, and you yes. also, uh, you, you call it, well, because, because you're the Wizard of Oohs and Ahs and the Fala Laws, yes. and you just have this nice kind of skip-along style to your to your singing, and I understand that you, you like to do something called the Say Anything game. Absolutely. Where you kind of make up a song about uh, anything. Anything, anything. You know, when I'm in San Diego, I, 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 on Sunday nights, I go down to a coffee shop, and uh, I play with a bunch of guys, and where most of the show is improv. We, we we might know what our chorus might be or we might know what the key of the song is going to be but other than that we let the audience give us topics and <laughs> and it reminds me of the flying karamazov brothers years ago they would juggle anything that the audience exactly. brought and it's kind of the same thing you kind of the same thing we musically juggle all these various topics and random words that people give us and uh, turn it into music and, and so i take the same kind of format on the road where i'll bring audience members up and we call it play the say anything game and it just gives people a chance to sing or rap or tell a poem or anything but the idea is don't stop until you just completely run out maybe you run out of breath or or you just run out of ideas but i always think there's a there's at least one more idea running 
Any ideas in the studio for you right now? Or? Oh, wow. Well, we got this big bottle of hand sanitizer right here. Oh, so you think I should flow about the hand I'm sanitizer? I'm just wondering. We're all keeping clean here. In all the keeping clean. Because isn't that a dream? I mean, it might seem obscene for me to walk in and spread my germs upon this desk. What a mess. I confess that if I use this hand sanitizer, then I would be wiser, you know, because then I would just be. Um, uh, the wizard, the wizard, as you as you called me earlier. Uh, wow, I want to write earlier. Uh, <laughs> Curlier teeth. Curlier teeth. I'll put the sanitizer in my mouth, and it will help me go to sleep. Oh, well, thank you. That was, that was really odd. Good. That was fun. <laughs> that, was that was odd. Was great. But I'm going to use some of that sanitizer <laughs> right now, actually. Jason Mraz, I can't mm. tell you the level of excitement when we learned that you were going to be joining us here in Coma 1000 News Radio. <laughs> The new album, We Sing, We Dance, We Steal Things, coming out in, in a few months, and we'll be looking for you back in Seattle on a tour. And boy, it's been just so nice meeting you. Thanks well, for thanks. Here. My pleasure. And come 1000 News Time is now 621, and the forecast is uh, looking like we're going to see some clouds overnight.